Hi everyone, this is GKCS. We are going to be talking about the Minimax algorithm now. And this is a very useful concept in two-player games uh, when you are trying to code some artificial intelligence. So these two players are people who are fighting against each other and they have usually they have complete information about the game. So one example is chess where white and black are playing against each other. You have a number line, an integer line and any integer which is positive is good for white. Any integer which is negative is good for black. So positive infinity would be a win for white and negative infinity would be a loss for black. And this is how the game tree comes out. So there's a root node which is the starting position. From here you have two possible moves which red can play. And these are the two outcomes that you'll have from those moves. Similarly, uh, blue can play two possible moves here and two possible moves from this position and so on and so forth. To keep things simple, I've just uh, made two possible moves. Of course, you can have just one move here and it could be a terminal state. So, of course, uh, you know, in, in complicated games, it's going to be a much more complicated game tree. But for now, let's uh, assume that this is the tree that we have. So firstly, let's just look at win, loss and draw. So if this is a win for red, it will be colored red. If it's unstable or if it's a draw, then we uh, color it gray. And blue is a win for blue. So the minimax algorithm says that if a player is winning in any of its choices, then it's going to choose the win. Otherwise, it has no choice and it's going to choose the next best thing, which is a draw. Or if it has no choice at all, then it's going to go for the loss. So here, take a guess what's going to happen. Yeah, red chooses this move and then uh, wins in this position. Red has another choice here, which is either red or blue. So we cannot evaluate this node till we have gone down all of its subtrees. So that will be red again because red chooses this move. It doesn't want to lose. And now you can say that blue wants to choose a, a move which is blue because it wants to win, but it has absolutely no choice and it has to choose red. Now we come here and we see that we still haven't evaluated this node. So we go down this subtree, we come down to the left node, we go over here, that's a blue, we return here. Red can either choose blue or go down to the right subtree and both choices are blue. It has absolutely no choice and it chooses blue. Now we come up here and again go down to the right. To the left we get a red, to the right we get a blue. Amongst red and blue, red is always going to choose red. Similarly, blue has two choices and it's going to choose the winning move here, which is blue. But that didn't really matter because red can now choose this node instead of this one and end up with the tree over here. So what we are seeing is that two players are playing against each other. They have just three uh, possibilities in each position. It's either red, blue or, uh, or a draw. And they are, of course, going for the maximum that they can. Mathematically, red is trying to maximize their score. You can think of red as positive infinity and blue is trying to minimize the score, which is negative infinity. Now, in most cases, you are not going to see a clear positive infinity or negative, a clear, you know, terminal node, which says that, yes, I won or yes, I lost. So in these cases, you need heuristics like these. These are very useful things. Uh, when in doubt, you know, you should follow the spiders. Uh, well, in case you have some heuristics, which is, we will get into detail with heuristics later on, but essentially they're just, uh, it's a function which tells you whether the first player is winning or the second player is winning. That's all. And if the second player is winning, it returns a negative number. If the first player is winning, it returns a positive number. At the very core, that's what a heuristic is. How it does that is, uh, depending on the game, we try to create a heuristic function which returns positive if white it is winning and negative black is winning right we'll get into more details later on so again the same algorithm can be used for this kind of uh, evaluation let's say these are the leaf nodes and they have scores as shown below so first we start from the starting node we go to the left we go to the left we go to the left we get a minus 3 and then we come up and see a 7 so red is maximizing its score. So it goes for 7. 
it goes up comes to the right to the left 2 to the right minus 1 take a guess what is red going to do here yes it's going to take the maximum score 2 now we we can evaluate the parent node and what we see is that blue is trying to minimize its score is trying to minimize the board score so it's not going to choose this 7 it's actually going to choose 2 this is a very important notice because they are playing against each other they are playing against each other's intentions against each other's aspirations will everything so it's going to choose minimum 2 now we come here we can't evaluate it because this node is empty and so is this so minus 7 and minus 3 are possible choices for red it's going to try to maximize its score and it chooses minus 3 similarly it comes over here and chooses 8 now we have this node which needs to be evaluated well it's going to choose the minimum that it can which is minus 3 because it's blue's no uh, turn blue came to these two positions and it's going to choose that which is going to help it the most so minus 3 is here but red can choose 2 instead of minus 3 so that's what it does it chooses 2 and so this entire position all these nodes these 8 nodes evaluate to a value of 2 in our minimax algorithm what this tells us is that red is winning this position and the way this helps us is in in most games you won't be able to calculate all the way to the end you won't be able to see all positions except in maybe tic-tac-toe uh, if you have a game like chess it's impossible to go down to the terminal depth of every position and figure out you know who's winning this position in, in a very clear-cut manner what you need is uh, heuristic functions which can tell you what's happening to some extent to a, to a reasonable extent and then you need to evaluate the overall position uh, through this minimax algorithm there are you know enhancements to this algorithm which we have discussed in this series uh, but the most important enhancement is actually alpha beta so we'll discuss that in a separate video and we'll also discuss how heuristics are calculated in a separate video if you want a notification for that you can subscribe thank you for watching this i'll see you later